Hi friends, I am your friend Prabha. Now I am telling about in this video the how to set progress bar. Okay. In this video we are setting the progress bar with respect to the time loading. Uh, see, I am already declaring the project. Let's uh, see, and then I am opening the form two. In this form two. The when you are clicking the add row or button, uh, any many more concepts are available. The rows added. Uh, I am declaring many more concepts in this space. Okay, I am declaring a form for another one. Okay, okay, I am creating one new forms for that creating one new form in this space. Control C, Control V. Okay, I am added the form in this space. The copy form. Sorry, it's deleted. Okay, I am adding new form. Right click the mouse and then add and then new item. Click the Windows form open and then form 3 added. Okay, you will see shop of uh, form 3 added and then goes to design this color copy and then paste from on the place. Just going and then background color. Control C and then declaring to this form color also control V. So in the background color control V also okay and changing this color color also. Okay and I am setting in this form I am declaring one progress button, okay. Okay, see, let's see. Here I am declaring the progress bar having in this toolbox. Okay, I am going to toolbox and then click the progress bar. I am declaring in this place. Okay, I am extract this progress bar and then I am declaring one. Okay, I am declaring the progress bar and then I will run it. See, in this run mode. I am opening form 2 but not open the form 3 ok I am declaring the form 2 and form 3 for that goes to stop it then click here the form 3 button also I am declaring this place ok I am goes to form 3 declaring ctrl c and then ctrl v so I am declaring the form 3 button. I am changing the form name also. Form 3. Okay. And, uh, and control is now clicking this button. The button, allowance button open. In this place, the form form 3 getting the one variable name of f3 okay f3 means form 3 variable name equal to new form 3 and then the f3 dot show okay so when you are clicking this button that time the form 3 open on that place okay i am just i am running this concept already told to you and then just click form 3 so form 3 open now need not the background form also so i am adding added this one how to do this one close this concept also i told to you before video i am just declaring in before condition mm, this dot hide sound hide this dot hide ok control s Okay, you know this. See the this form. The form should be uh, added and then that form open. Okay. Now in this place, the progress bar not run. Okay. So whenever the uh, open this form, that time the progress bar should be run. Okay. So okay, it will be run. How to run it? Okay. Just uh, listen it. I am declaring the one timer for the uh, third form. I am declaring the one timer. That is the timer goes to T t alphabetical order t okay goes to timer and this tool 
it come to the bottom of the form uh, it's not declared on the form what uh, you should declare in form but it contain in outside the form okay the time will declare to the uh, third form okay and then i'm setting the condition for in this load event of form see form loaded event okay open in this space so, so i am declaring the i am clicking the form 3 double click okay and then form 3 loaded event open so i am declaring in this place this dot timer dot start okay this function declared in this place okay and then i also am declaring the to this timer okay the progress name progress bar one okay see this progress bar one the name of the progress bar button okay so i am declaring in this timer i am double click it the timer trick open event opens so i am declaring this dot progress bar one dot increment okay if you want increment means just increment decrement means decrement also available yes, sorry increment increment and then function it I am declaring here uh, two or one or two or three any one okay just I am declaring 0 now just control S the increment value is 0 ok now I am just running it see the timing in this timer this progress bar 1 dot increment I am set it and then time also set it uh, timer 1 dot also set it ok so just the reason this will be running mode I am clicking the form 3 the see the progress bar not run why means the increment value 0 ok now I am changing this value 1 just to stop it now I am declaring 1 ok and the 0 available so not run but I am declaring 1 so the form 3 C open what happens C the increment also completed okay again also I'll show to you just run and then form 3 see the progress bar will be run okay if you want change the speed also in this progress bar means just click uh, 10 okay control s now I am goes to the speed also incremented go to form 3 see speed also incremented if you want to change that space of interval to the timer means just go to click the timer the form design 3 and then click timer and then uh, see the interval to this one just click that 1000 1000 means the interval available many more so see uh, many more interval available so the form of the progress bar loading slowly ok see I am also declaring on the form 3 click event I am declaring one conditions the increment value 1 ok control S I am declaring 1 see the progress third form the increment should be slowly ok if you want speed means goes to click the form and then click timer timer and then in this place I am changing 10 ok control s now it's I am run it what happened listen it goes to form 3 ok see the intro also speeded ok if you giving the form if you want to give that ok I am going to another one yes yes ok I am just going to go to the form design and timer and then click here 
500 means the end roll also incremented and then so see the speed will be reduced okay goes to form 3 see it will be automatically slowly there okay how whenever you are a uh, increment the interval that time the progress bar should be slowly run and then whenever clicking sorry, declaring the uh, form of the um, interval should be low means that time the progress bar will it will be run uh, speedily okay it's uh, how to set the progress bar if you want the click the button even means you also declaring the button okay see i am goes to that just goes to this condition control x just stop button and then i am declaring one button to this one just goes to design and then just copy this button then the third button copy control c and then declaring in this control v i am declaring in this place i am text also change progress okay okay i am declaring the progress to this button name see and in this progress in this progress name i am declaring the first letter capital okay progress okay when you are clicking this progress that time the that time the progress bar should be run okay okay i am declaring the load event of code declaring this place so just listen this form load event of this code control x control s and then declaring in this button control v control s okay now i am run it what happened listen form 3 open see not run the progress bar okay then i'm clicking the progress button that time the progress should be run okay okay friends if you want any doubt any have uh, any concept to need to learn means just comment me and then subscribe me okay thank you friends i am telling another one concept in another one video thank you friends Bye.